Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream, guys. They were playing more Castlevania Symphony of Night. Kind of love this game, man. Today we're going to try to get the Echo to bat. And when we get the Echo bat, we need to go underground. Yeah, so we can do stuff underground. And the reason we want to go underground is... So we can beat Cerberus and get the Light Breaker and then get the other ring. So we can get the Holy Glasses. Of course, the Holy Glasses are very important. They let you do some cool stuff, man. First, I want to show you something kind of cool. Because if I can get there... Yep, I have my Jewel Sword on. I was kind of grinding gems earlier. In order to get some stuff... I haven't got the Joseph Cloak yet. I decided to wait until... Later. Do that. Okay, wards are gone. Yeah, some more gems are always nice. If we did a diagonal slash and hit that. Ooh, a turquoise. And an aquamarine. Excellent. Watch out for the ectoplasm. They curse you if you touch them. Which is something that's remained consistent throughout most Castlevanias. Well, the ectoplasm does inflict curse. It's a big ball of angry spiritual energy that's, um, quite angry, man. Gate Fleeman. Yeah, Fleeman and Flea Armor are pretty annoying. We got both of them at once. I mean, over here for is get through here. But I didn't move that. cool thing I want to show you. I got off the spike pole. Yeah, the Axe Lord armor. Yep, you turn into Axe armor. Can't jump very high while being Axe armor, though. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I've already got this from the spike ball. I thought I'd show you that because I thought it was cool. It's kind of weird, too. Of course, I really should get the Joseph Cloak. Joseph Cloak will help our defense a little bit. That's why I'm going here. I may as well like a little bit more gems. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game. You no, know, I was watching someone I was watching someone else stream a Yu-Gi-Oh game and I decided to get one. The one I decided to get was Sacred Cards. It doesn't really quite play like Yu-Gi-Oh, but I think it's a pretty good game. Much better than freaking Reshief of Destruction, that's that's for sure. That game sucks. Yeah, basically, Reshief of Destruction basically exists because people said S Sacred Cards was too easy and 
Instead of making it more like Dark Duel Stories, which was a perfect balance of Sacred Cards and Rashif, where enemy duelists actually had decent cards, what can I, I kind of made it unfair, man. I'm interested in this. To sell all my gems, because I don't need them. <laughs> They're just kind of worthless. I'm interested in this. But I definitely want to buy the Joseph Cloak. Obviously. Take a couple more library cards. Um. Take a couple of those. Now let's go find Court Count Orlock. Yeah, we're gonna fight Count Orlock because well he's the neck he's the guy that has the bad echo. He's guarding it, you see. And to get to him you're gonna have to fly like a bat. We couldn't get him get to him before because we couldn't fly. And now we can. We need to Get over to a warp point, of course. You may as well grind up a little bit of gems while I'm here. Most of the time you do get Zork Zork Zircon. Occasionally you'll get other gems. One time I did get a diamond. Yeah, di a diamond is pretty nice at this point. Game. Rather nice for me because Sell for a lot. Go just take out that thorn mead. Like using the jewel sword a lot. It's one of the ways you get lots of money in the game, of course. After all, gems are the primary way of. Of course, you can only sell gems to get money. You can only sell gems, you can't sell old equipment, so... Getting lots of gems is definitely helpful. I did get a rate beer off those guys. Rate beers are not bad, but I prefer the werebane. But you get off the hunting girl, or as she's known as some ver some other games, she's known as Nemesis. So the work point is up there. Let's kill these enemies. I've got us another Zirkin. Which isn't worth a lot, but having lots of Zerg on be so common does add up over time. That's how I got Diamond Plate and Joseph Cloak so early. Alright, I should probably equip my Joseph Cloak. Cloak color, huh? I want to make it, like, green. Yep, I like to make it green. Let's make it, like... And blue do look pretty nice. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly green. There, that looks about right. There, now it's a, now it's like the elfin cloak, but but also but also stronger, which is really good. All right, where'd I end up? Map is this way. Oh, good, we're right where we need to be. I think I'll take off. That and where's my? Oh, where's my shield rod? Somewhere.
I will go Iron Shield because it's the best one to use with the Shield Rod right now. Of course, the Alucard Shield is even better, but... Yeah, don't quite have that just yet. We need to be over just need to go to a different warp point. We're at a warp point, but not the warp point that we need to be at. Castle Keep. This one, this is the one we need to go to. Hmm. Play up with that. Take a mana prism because why not? Mana prism is going to be helpful if you're using shield rod because you can restore your MP, of course. Luck potion, which increases your luck a little bit. Uh, it's a temporary buff, though. But don't worry about the guys there, they won't hurt you. I don't think they can hurt ya. And no relax. Watch out for the spikes on the ceiling. They do hurt you. Quite a bit. Spikes really suck. As talk, I guess I'll take that. Check out what's over here. There's these weak bloody zombies here. Guess I'll take a heart max up. Hey look. Secret. It was there. Sword card? Yeah, that's a good card. Can't stress enough how good the sword card is. Sword card does basically let you get a sword familiar. Uh, if you level up it up enough, you can you can get a really good you can get really good. You can get a really good sword, man. If you make it like level 99, you can get a really good sword, man. Of course, I preferred Fairy, of course. Plus, the Chrissy Grims are still better. Now, the best sword in the game is a highly debatable subject. A lot of people do say the Chrissy Grim, though. Personally, I don't blame them. It's like four attacks in one go, and they're very and it's a very fast attack that's easy to spam. If you have two t two Chrissy Grims, it's even better. Cursey Grims are definitely better. Because you can spam both of them at one time, man. This is a big room.
Leave room right there. Check out what's over here. Might lead to secrets. Darn it. Need to fill in the map. Keep forgetting the forgetting the joystick doesn't actually move you. you use the D-pad. Only the D-pad on the snake bite is not very comfortable. Map, of course, for the true ending of the game, man. I don't want the Bible. Bible sucks. Bad but true, the Bible is not very good. to get over here. Leads into Orlock's room. I'm going to get better at using this. Now he's going... As you see, the shield rod is very... good for him. Yeah, the shield route is pretty busted. Yeah, it's very good for battling the Orlock here. And sending him off to wherever vampires go when they die. Probably the Chaos Dimension. That's where all the Dracula servants come from, you know. The Realm of Chaos. Which is evil homeland. Yeah. I believe the Echo Bad is somewhere around here. The Shield Rod is busted. Ooh, there it is. Echo Bat. That lets you navigate dark passages. Which you're gonna need for getting the Spike Breaker. But you need to navigate a dark room full of spikes. And you need to see where the spikes are. And that's the one use of that. There's also Force of Echo later, but I didn't find that to be very useful. In fact, I'd say that... I'd say that Force of Echo is a usefully useless power-up. I wouldn't say it's completely bad, though. Used up a lot of hearts, because we spam Dagger a lot. 
You know, dagger spam is pretty good. It's a little spicy, too. It can help you against some of the bosses. Of course, probably not as much as Shield Rod does. Yeah, it's pretty busted that you can get it early in the first act of the game, man. Of course, is the first castle. I wouldn't technically call it an act two, but the game does treat it as an act two. So, may as well do that. Yeah, you have to defeat you have to defeat the Belmonts with the with the holy glasses on and the orb. It helps if you have a holy weapon. Heck, we're not far from the Colosseum. We might as well go visit that place again. Enemies are not doing any damage to us whatsoever. They're just too slow. Did we beat them? Heck him. Yes, good Britons. Definitely want to grab the Holy Sword. That's a stopwatch again. Well, I guess I'll take the stopwatch for right now. Dagger spam is okay, but listen, stopwatch is still stopwatch, man. And you can turn Alucard into Dio with it. And you can hack for, and you can do a time hacks. Of course, a lot of enemies are, there are enemies that are immune to it. Bosses are pretty much immune to it, man. Up here. I remember in the PS4 version, this was something else. Now yeah, the Holy Sword is pretty good. It's gonna be really useful against against Victor Belmont. Not because it's gonna be useful against him because he's actually immune to holy damage, which means you can swing at the orb that contains shaft without worrying too much about what you're doing. pretty far away from a warp point. We need to head to the end. We need to head to underwater passageway. It's gonna be a bit of a trek. But we can make it there. Yeah, just obliterate the skeletons by smacking them with the shield rod. There, there is a sword that also works like the shield rod, but it's pretty rare. I believe you can only get it off of certain spectral swords in um, the reverse castle. Still trying to practice this. Yeah, not that spectral sword. Right, the four point is up here. Your shield rod does use MP to attack. Right, the warp point is up above me. I want to say I like Castlevania. This is one series I've enjoyed ever since the DS era. Ever since the Game Boy Advance and DS, era. And DS era. I mean, the DS does have my favorite on it. Portrait Rune. Kinda wish um, Bloodstain would have portraits like that one would. 
Might be going into other worlds. See what sort of interesting creatures were there. And to have it expanded on a little. I wish I would make that happen. It'd be really cool if he did that, man. Of course, I'd be all for it, man. Let's head to a warp point. Where are we? They were about where we wanted to be. Do we head? Gonna have to get a bit of out of our way. So we go a little bit of out of our, our way, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we opened up that passage down there. Might as well head there. In the beginning of the other game, where all those where, where all those fishmen were. Yeah, the creatures from the Black Lagoon. Oh yeah. And I probably should have seen that movie. Wish I did now. I don't need to worry about getting more money together since I think a lot of things at the shop kind of suck now. And we've got the max equipment out for right now. Now that. I do like the Joseph Klopkin that you can change the color of it. That, always, that was always a nice touch. Oh, I got the ice cream off her? That's a rare drop, dude. Not quite as good as Chrissy Grimm's, though. Nice to get a rare healing item. We're very close to where we need to go. Fly up the waterfall. Trying to fill in the map, man. I wish Alucard's bat was faster. Kinda weird playing as a green bat, huh? We got the map. The map we didn't... Other areas, but I'll worry about that later. I think I'll do it off camera. Never seen the true ending of the game before. But I definitely want to try to get it. Yes, you have to go for a full map completion for that. Hmm. For some reason, secrets don't count to it, even though they count towards... ...to like you're doing the... 
that. Getting comboed by a freaking frog. Frick me. Really, really hate the frogs. They're not even powerful enemies, they're just slightly annoying. They're just really annoying. They're just enough to piss you off, man. <sighs> They're a lot like Medusa heads in a way. Of course, Medusa heads are actually a very fun enemy. That is everybody's favorite. I mean, why would you not like Medusa heads? They're, they're so good. I mean, when I think of classic Castlevania enemies, I definitely think of Medusa heads. Also, skeletons, bats, and axe armors. Hmm. Yeah, Dracula has a has a thing for skeletons, bats, armors, sexy monster girls. Oh, which are Come on, work. There we go. And we miss completely. face you freaking Cerberus. I think I'll trade it out for the holy word yeah. Trade this out for the Herald Shield. Keep going. Frick, you need a devil card for that. I'm not really sure where it is. Yeah, see, the holy sword is pretty good. You can see. I think that these guys take like two hits to take down. It easier for them to hit ya. Oh, speaking of speaking of the demon card, you actually got it. Well, let's go use it, I guess. We go up. Yep, since the Holy Sword is light attribute, it does a lot of damage to many of the enemies in this castle. After all, they're basically demons and the undead, yeah. Bad and turn on this. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? What a weird voice. Thank you. I switch back to my fairy. Yeah, the fairy is the best. So 
lot of plants in here. Just be right through them. Uh oh. How are you? Ouch. He's actually fairly strong. She's a fairly tough enemy. These uni plants are what's feeding her. Giving her strength. Ring of Ares. And we got a turkey. Power of Sire. Pretty sure the Ring of Ares. Confers the strength of 24 men, but it reduces your defense by a lot, but gives you a whole bunch of offense. I don't think I want my defense to go down. Go to absolute crap, man. Especially nuts and some. Especially if I'm. See, she gets red off of damaging you, man. Yeah, she's feasting on your blood. Of course, if you're familiar with monster girls, they feed on something else. That is a little more colorful than blood. Mm, something white and sticky. Of course, we can't have that in the Castlevania game. Even though the monster... Even though that Camilla has an entire army of monster girls in Curse of the Moon in her castle. Try going this way. Hey, war point, cool. I'll take that, I guess. Fire these guys leave behind is just enough to be in a little bit annoying. Salem witches. Even though they're called something else completely different in other Castlevania games. Not joking about that either. What's down here? Catacombs, that's where you need to go. I'm kind of curious as to what's the other way. I'm kind of stuck with the ricochet rock until, yeah, for reasons. Armor coin and combat knife. If you want the combat knife for whatever reason, I don't recommend it. Not quite as good as the basal art. Basal art is a way better knife. Bear skeletons. Nope. Yes, there are bear panther skeletons, but the game can't. Yeah, there are bear panther skeletons, but the game doesn't say that, though. It's a bit too long to say that. But there are skeletons of bear panthers. Yeah, that's what those are. Ooh, what's over here? Bloodstone? What does the bloodstone do? Yeah, if you want Dark Metamorph, if you use Dark Metamorphosis a lot, a lot, you'll probably be interested in that. 
I should probably make a quick save just in case I get wrecked by the spikes or, or whatever enemies wreck me down here. Nope. You know Grand Faloon is down here somewhere. I don't think he's particularly powerful, but... He never pays to be care- It pays to be careful, man. Damn, these eco backs are kind of annoying still. I picked up the stopwatch. He doesn't lead by going this way. Nope, I want the stopwatch. Give me the stopwatch. Alright, the slimes, they're invulnerable to physical damage, but they're weak to elements. And now I'll turn on the lights, and we can go get ourselves a spike breaker. Damn, that was stressful. I was really worried about hitting the spikes there. Oh man, but we got nothing to worry about. We finally, we're close to getting it. Cross shurikens, you can buy those at the shop if you want. Karma coins, I do not recommend using those. They suck ass. Plus, they have a chance of damaging you. Why would you use an item that's a coin flip that can damage you and the, you instead of the enemies? Nah, better to use more reliable items if you want to attack items. Especially with the duplicator. You can just duplicate Power of Sire, man. Power of Sire is way better to duplicate. Here we are! Spike Breaker! You know what this means, we can break the spikes! I mean, of course you know what Spike Breaker does. It's also kind of in Bloodstained Ritual Night, except that doesn't break spikes, it makes you... It guards you against them. So, you're immune to spikes anyway. But basically, they both protect you from spikes, man. I like myself some spike protection. Thank you, Fairy, for helping me figure out what, what to do in the darkness. Don't forget that some animals can live in complete darkness. I mean, like bats. I mean, bats are a pretty beautiful creature. They're also super duper sexy. But nah. Nah, butterflies are much cuter. I like butterflies and birds more. Because of course I do. Don't need that anymore. I'll just equip my diamond plate. Is 
careful not to let the slimes touch you, they do poison you. Go grab some hearts. No, I do not want the Bible. Touch the fire, it damages you. Now you can break these coffins in the background. Ooh, free health and free hearts. I should tell you something tough's up ahead. Care of those guys. Now the enemies are getting a little bit tougher. Not by much. Oh, Seth. Is that a Lord of the Rings reference? Why is that in the Castlevania game? I got this guy's range down. I believe this guy drops a chakra in. You may be interested in. Ballroom mask. Heart max up, cool. Ooh, what's this? An ice brand, huh? That's cool. expecting souls to drop. It would make sense that Alucard would have dominance. I mean, he is Dracula's son after all. And there's lava here. When the castle gets flipped upside down, it's ice, man. Of course, that could be a reference to the lowest level of Hell in Dante's Inferno. Which actually is ice. Yeah, you didn't know that? Of course, I know you. I know you knew that. You're smart. I know you guys are smart. Walk armor. Walk armor is really, really good. Probably one of the best armors in the whole game, man. Let's see. What does walk armor do again? Increases with map coverage. So if you fill in the map, you're going to... Get a lot of defense off of it. And that count? So basically you can get a lot of defense off of it. Damn these ecobacks. They might have invented fireworks, but no. They're still pretty annoying. All right, you know what those cheese strats are. Here's my iron shield. Please. Room mass, it decreases intelligence. You don't want it to decrease my intelligence. Obviously, the stone mask is really good. It's also a JoJo reference. Yes, JoJo's been around for a long time. There we go, we beat Legion. 
or I mean Grand Falloon. As for some reason, he's called Legion in other games, but not in this one, man. Now give me those fun frame rates, man. Damn, look at all these skulls, dude. Where did Legion get all these, man? He must have got them from all the people that, um... Yeah, Legion is like a big collection of freaking Threeville, man. Yeah, he's like a big... Yeah. He's made up of innumerable devils, man. Ooh, we got a strawberry off of it. Nice. Mm. Oh, and we got a new sword. Wormagill. I believe is a sword of darkness. Strong versus holy. So basically you can drop that if you want to get the bad ending. Or you kill Richter Belmont. Yeah, just drop that on. Just kill these guys. Just keep out of range of this guy and keep him at close range so he doesn't do the discus throw attack. So basically you just you just keep him at range and then can't hit ya. It's a lot like dealing with an Iron Knuckle, man. Just gotta keep him at range, out of their axe range, and then hit and hit him with the big Goron sword. And that guy's. Guy zone is Asmodeus. In other games, I think it. I believe I believe it was as odious. Yeah, some sort of weird musician. Pretty creepy, man. Of course, my theory is complete nonsense. Let's go up here. Come easy, go back in your fireballs. Don't let him get control of the map. Gotta keep him from getting control of the map. I was lucky it was on the other... Damn, they stretch their skulls out? That's weird. Yeah, they do do that. Yeah, those Bear Panther skeletons are very strange. Let's just get to the warp point, and then head into the clock tower. Right, we need to head to the dark. We need to head to the dark cathedral, so we can use a spike breaker armor, get past the spike hallway that we couldn't earlier. And that way we can get another ring. The warp point is right here. I'll just head in there. That would do it. And you need to get the gold ring and the silver ring. You need to get... So basically you need to defeat the succubus and then get the spike breaker and get the echo back. Get the spike breaker. Get the other ring. The silver ring in this case. Damn, this is not where you want to be at all. 
This is nowhere close to where I want to be. I probably should have checked the map before I went out. Hmm, this is about right. There's a lot of stuff up there. And of course leads up to the guy. And of course leads up to Dracula. Or I mean Richter Belmont. Yeah, Richter Belmont is Richter Belmont got possessed by freaking Shaft Man. Though freaking a freaking priest named Shaft Man. And Shaft's parents must have really hated him. No wonder he became No wonder he went to the dark side. And if you succumb to the dark side, you might succumb to the dark side of the internet. Which will lead you to being a PSP pay pig, man. And you do not want to become a DSP pay pig now. Listen, DSP is very exploitive and abusive of his own of people giving him money, man. Constantly berates them, man. I do not recommend supporting that man now. I guess if you want to troll tip him, it's fine, but look, DSP was like DSP said it himself. Thanks for the money, dummy. So if you troll tip him, yeah. Be aware that he thinks that of you. Although there are times where troll tipping him did work. Like in Fire Emblem. Where he went on where he went on an over 30 minute rant. Because of a troll tip. About how other streamers are freaking moppets compared to him, and now he's a real guy and everything. Even though DSP is even though DSP came up with the S goal. Although that's dead right now. Alright, we're getting close to where we want to be. There's a hunting girl. Right, let's get out our spike breaker. Let's break out our spike breaker. I don't think our relic is on. I forgot to put on the form of mist. There we go, that's how you do it. Much better on this controller than on the PS4 controller. Yeah, because we only got two. Let's see. Huh. We need a jewel of open for this. That's okay. So, did you find Peter? Yes. I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That can't be true. You're wrong. I, I, I must go now. Okay, see you later, Maria. And I wish you could play as Maria in this game, but nope. Alright, we're just gonna sit in this chair and chill. Till Alucard goes to sleep. I've been looking for a chair all game to do this, man. Of course, it's gonna take a while for it to happen. Wait patiently. Yeah. There we go. Here he's resting with us. And drift off to sleep. I like that the fairy just sits there on there with you. It's a cute little fairy. I wonder how it's not corrupted by the castle's magic. As as you know, Castlevania is a creature of chaos that is very dangerous for supernatural creatures to be around. Nice to watch the clouds just go by. Neat little effect, I think. Uh, 
Let's just stay here and watch the clouds go by. Even though they're flat textures in the sky. Damn, how high up are we in the sky anyway? Alright, we're drifting off to sleep. It's about to begin. Fairy song. It's coming. I want to hear this. off now. It'd be easier if the fairy would hypnotize him. As fairies can do that by supernatural beauty, you know. And so can vampires, yeah? No, you don't want to fall for that, man. Damn, it takes quite a while for this to happen. Very, very. With a silver ring. Alright, guys, I'm not sure if that was right. Just bash all these spikes away. Eventually, we are going to learn how to play as missed for an extended period of time. Still didn't drop the sword, that's okay. Okay, we got both rings. Now what we need to do is head over to the clock. You know the room. The one where the leap the one where the um gravity boots were. If you remember that. Nearly there. here. Smash. Smack. 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 I'm actually getting a little bit better at this game, I think. But I wish my shield rod skills were a little bit better. But we've basically defeated two bosses using the shield rod. Of course, the other card shield has the... other card shield has the even better stuff that you can do with the shield rod. Yeah, you thought the shield rod was OP before. Now the other card shield, now that lets you be really OP, man. I believe Maria is actually invulnerable to Holy. Now you do fight her. I'll put these again. 
Whoops, I forgot to take off my spike breaker. Diamond plate still has more defense for right now. The holy sword is pretty good. Of course, I would say the holy sword is pretty good. Because it's one of the most OP items in the game. Of course, the shield rod right now is very broken. Can't believe we beat Count Orlock with it, man. That was fun. Last time I had some trouble with him. Because I couldn't get the shield rod to work. Very weird how you have to use the shield rod. You have to press both attack buttons at the same time now. Just can't seem to get it to work right. The best place to go would be towards the library area. Maybe we get through. Okay, this is the closest one that we can get to. I must say, I like our green cloak. I kinda wish I had a green cloak like that, man. I'd wear it all the time, man. I'd wear it all the time for style. I mean, green on a cloak just looks really nice, I guess. Especially a bit like this one. Of course, most cloaks that are being sold are usually red. Obviously, the reference Red Riding Hood. Deadly cloaks are a little expensive and a bit out of my price range. I think. At least for high quality ones. I could probably get a costume one for much less. Maybe. Knife, I might want that for Maria. I remember fighting her in the PS4 version. Not sure if you quite do it in this one. Copper boomerangs from skeletons. Rather, skeletons. Now, they're like skeletons with fundamental differences. They remind me of that one Yu-Gi-Oh monster that's a skull on a boomerang that will chase you forever and ever, man. Yeah, it's a fairly weak card. It doesn't really have any good... It's just a normal monster that's really weak. In other words, not really a good card. Yeah, that was a different time in Yu-Gi-Oh, man. That was back when... That was back when playing La Jin on the field was actually... A, Legitimate strategy because Ajin had 1800 attack. Nowadays, of course, things have changed drastically and monster effects are now more of a thing. Last time I played, freaking Summon Skull was meta. Nowadays, nobody likes Summon Skull except for Red Eyes decks. But who wants to play freaking Red Eyes? Red Eyes is gay. Red Eyes is nowhere near as cool as freaking Blue Eyes, man. Hmm. I'm just kidding, of course. I don't actually mean that seriously. I realize that people don't understand don't understand humor. Yeah, I obviously don't mean to insult anyone. I mean, if you like, I mean, if you like Red Eyes, whatever. But no. Now I want the knife. Holy water is going to be useless against Maria because she's immune to holy. Not like Richter is. Hey, wait a minute. I think we read the completely wrong way. That's because I'm an expert map reader, you see. I knew how I know how to read my maps, man. Yes. Yeah, witness as I go in the completely wrong direction because I, um, misread the map. 
or I mean, um, I read it expertly and clearly because I um, clearly know what I'm doing, guys. And eat a shield rod to the face. Shield rod is broke AF, man. Um, so, um, right, I have to have the two queen, I have to have the two rings equipped. Forgot about that. There we go. There we go, and that opens the way down there. And we'll be able to get the Holy Glasses. The Holy Glasses are a really nice item that lets you see Shaft, who's possessing Richter Belmont. They can free him of the control. And there's a lot of characters that fall under possession of other villains in this series, man. Seems like it happens. Oh, no, 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 I do not want that. There we are, that's our ring of pails. A save point, we're gonna need it because because the lady is pretty tough, man. He will kick your butt. Of course, if we shield rod her, we might be. I'll take these, take the heart max and the HP up. Because why not? They're just yet still more of the map. Get ready. Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Wait, you don't fight her? Huh, that's weird. I remember there being a boss fight with her. But no, I guess that's just in the PSP, PS4 version. That's weird. Definitely remember there being a boss fight in that version. Please tell me I'm not hallucinating that. I know how you hallucinate a lot, but I clearly remember that, man. I swear I clearly do. I don't understand. Was that not a thing? Yeah, it was a thing, it's just that it's in only in certain versions of this game. Like how the other fairy card and the nose devil card are in certain versions of this game. You know the holy sword that we picked up? Yeah, in the in the other version of the game it's it's actually a nose devil card. Yeah, and you get a second fairy card. That's just a differently named fairy with green. That's wearing green. Not as good as classic blue. So green would make more sense for a fairy. This is her favorite color after all. 
Now don't wear green. They might they might take you away to Fairyland and um do weird stuff to you, man. Yeah, they might do weird stuff to you like freaking Plumeria, man. And freaking or weird stuff, I don't know. I'll be quiet now. Already been up here. I just warn you, fodder, but yeah, that's in different versions of the game. Well. Oh well. Kinda of weird that I played a different version of this game first. Beat that one first before doing this classic version of it. Yeah, it does have a boss fight with freaking Maria, man. Pretty cool. She summons a bunch of magical creatures on you to attack you with magic, and she's really cool, man. Of course, in the Sega Saturn version of this game, which has even more, which has even more content. Yeah, you can play as Maria in that one. After doing Richter mode. I wish we I wish we could get that version in the States, but nope. I of course would love that version in the States, but no. Ah, uh, not with the way Konami is right now. Yeah. I don't know where they went wrong. I guess the greed got to them. I guess greed became massively strong. And um Kinda led to some stuff happening to their company. And freaking Ig and freaking Ika, the master of Castlevania, and freaking Kojima, master of of Metal Gear Solid, they left the company. Oh well. That's fine, we got Blood Saint Ritual of Night out of it. I haven't played Death Stranding, but I haven't played De I haven't played a Metal Gear game either. But I wish Kojima luck. Hmm. You definitely have both guys have definite talent behind them. They're really cool. Hmm. Yes, nowadays Konami wants to do pachinko machines. With their erotic violence. Yeah. Yeah, they want to do the erotic violence pachinko machines with the, um, of Castlevania, man. Nah. Making, making cool, making cool games? Nah. We don't need any of that. We need gambling machines. You know what app you know that gamers love it when they're when classic video game series that they love for years become become um, mobile game scams, you know? I mean Capcom's done it. Fire of Bat Ubisoft made Rayman into a into a mobile game. And people just love mobile game scams, man. I mean we eat that we eat that stuff up, man. Yeah, I'm not a lot. I'm not an exaggerator whatsoever. I would certainly never mix up such a claim for Luz. I would never do that. You can come to me for, for not for no memes, man. I never use memes in my streams, man. I mean, honestly, why would I? Memes are the worst. There's lots of people who find memes to be cringe. I mean, that's to be, to be fair, some of them are. Some of them are pretty bad. Holy shit, man! Is that a freaking giant ghost skull with a red eye? Damn, son! That is so freaking metal, man! See? Why can't Konami make cool stuff like this any anymore, man? I mean, this dude is the freaking Lord of Skulls, man. In other words, it's a badass skeleton. Damn, that is so cool. Yeah, get wrecked. Hmm. 
Hmm. I mean, gamers love it when they're when. I mean, gamers loved it when um, Breath of Fire and um, Rayman became mobile games. I know you guys are fans of that. I mean, what? You don't like mobile games games? I mean, what's not to love about mobile game scams? Oh, frick me, man. No. We are not putting up with bullshit. Yeah, we are not putting up with getting stoned. Yeah, we're not getting high on freaking weed, man. Yeah, I can't go back. I can't, I can't. I'm getting PTSD just... I'm getting triggered just looking at these Medusa heads, man. I'm, I'm... I'm feeling shook, man. If you hit these, We got it. No oh, frick me. Spikes. Don't like spikes. Yeah. I don't like Medusa heads, I don't like spikes, I don't like black towers. This is what hell looks like in Castlevania, man. Got into the secret area. Star flail, cool. Got into the little secret area, that's good. Yeah, I'm very glad I have the mirror caras on. Yeah, that's gonna make the good thing I got the mirror caras, huh? Yeah, that makes dealing with this clack tower a lot easier. There is something funny about this. Yes, I know, I cracked it. Let's break in. Freaking flea armors, of course. You have to compound the annoyance of this place. Sorry, I'm kind of shook right now, man. I feel super duper shook from seeing Medusa heads again. They always trigger me. They trigger every bad sense in me, man. I'm really sorry, man. I'm really kind of salty right now. Oh, I can get this Sword of Heaven off these guys. The Heaven Sword? Yeah, you, yeah, they're the rare drop off these enemies. Yeah, of course, they're like a very low chance of getting them. But I managed to get two of them before. When I played this game and used them during the during the until I got the Chrissy Grims. Freaking flea men, man. Yeah, 
Yes. Um. At least this isn't as bad as freaking. Uh, er, Dawn of Sorrow, man. Freaking Clock Tower in that game is freaking nuts, man. Alright, Vandal Swords. I know these guys have a good sword that they can drop. Vandal Swords do, at least in the Reverse Castle. I think I need to go back and fill in the map. I might as well do that while I'm here. Gonna become a Vandal Sword. Gonna become a little bit spookier. Because it's gonna become a ghost. You know I, how much I like ghosts. Of course, they're not, of course, ghosts are not quite as good as fairies, man. Hmm. Or, I mean, um, not that I'm into fairies or anything, no. I don't know what you mean. Hmm. Oh, a breakable wall here. Into a secret healing mail, which lets you recover health by walking a little bit every few seconds. Only a very little health gain now. Plus, it's not very good on defense. Oh, Karasu, man. Yeah, just unlock him. Unlock him in the corner, and he's dead. See, the game is easy to cheese, man. You don't even need, you don't even need to per Yeah, the game is very easy to cheese. Alright, we're in the, ca in the castle keep. This is going to lead us to Richter Belmont. Man, I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're finally getting on this trail, man. Do a save point? Yes, please. Give me that save. Give me that sweet, sexy save point. And we've been going on for quite a while. I am. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had plenty of fun. I apologize for leaving on short, short notice when I'm about to fight Richter Belmont. And I hope you'll bear with me for that. Thank you for watching and I hope you had fun. Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Goodbye. I love you.